What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good evening. Welcome back, folks. It's Tuesday, December 6th. I am still feeling like crap. I'm under the weather. I don't know what I have. My ears, my throat, my nose, my head hurts. I think I got the flu. I got a fever for sure. But I just got back from a softball game. I know, as crazy as it sounds, I still had to go to my softball game tonight. It was the final game of the season. We locked in the number one seed. We won. We beat the crap out of them. I think we won by like 20 or something. It was absurd. I went two for two. I took a walk. I don't like taking walks in slow pitch softball, but sometimes the pitch is so far off the plate, there is nothing you can do except look at it. I'm excited for Thursday. Playoffs are going to start. Kickball playoffs, softball playoffs. I hope I am back to 100%. It's about 9 o'clock here in the East Coast. After this video, I'm going to go to bed, but I've been trying to make this video all day. I ended up leaving work early. I took a nap. I don't even know what call it a nap. I hibernated all afternoon, just trying to recover, trying to feel better. But folks, the end is near. You heard me correctly. The end is near. What does that mean? What am I talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. This Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit, the end, it's here. We are so close. I got proof. Stuart Alderati, Brad Gollinghouse, they're telling us that the end is near. When they talk to us, we listen. They would not be saying that unless they knew something. They know something. You know, deep down inside, I still firmly believe that the lawsuit comes to an end before the year is up. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over the Lux Lines project because we just dropped something so cool for the month of December. We got another little hidden secret, a little hidden surprise up our sleeve. Stay with me. Let's get to live coin watch. What are we seeing? Bitcoin, $17,076. It is pretty much even on the 24-hour and one-hour chart. Ethereum is coming in at $1,267. It is flat as well. We are seeing USDT and USDC both coming in at a dollar. They are back to their normal peg. They were at $0.99 cents for quite some time, but they are back up. And XRP is actually a little bit green on the 24-hour, up 0.21%, coming in at a mean lean $0.39. Cents. Folks, you know the magic numbers. I've been talking about them for the past two weeks. We need to break 41 cents for XRP. We need to keep our eyes on 33 cents if there is another breakdown in the market. Anything can happen. We can get another black swan. FTX, definitely a black swan example. All eyes on those numbers. If we break 33 and we did bounce off 33 cents about four times, I believe it was, in the past month. It is a very strong level there. A lot of resistance. If we do break under, we are going to back into the 20 cent region. How low can we go? 28 cents is my first stop. After that, 22 cents. And then worst comes to worst. If we have a further capitulation, 18 cents. But what I will be doing, folks, I will be buying anything in the 20s. I talked to a buddy tonight before the game. I told him, you got one final opportunity that's going to present itself. And XRP gets into the 20s. They are all buying areas. Do not try to be cute. Do not try to time the market because we know how quick this thing can go up. And we know how hard it is to buy XRP when we are buying a bulk amount at a time. The total cryptocurrency market cap, 866 billion as the Bitcoin dominance is ranging at 37.87%. Now, folks, I want to show you this. What is this? This is the golden ticket, the Lux Lions golden ticket. Do you have what it takes to spin up this golden ticket? That is what I want to know. What am I referring to? Well, folks, it's quite simple. I'll tell you what I'm referring to. Let me read off this lovely little thing that's going to go out tomorrow. You're going to get a sneak peek at it. It is the most wonderful wonderful time of the year, and a very merry Lux Line special is going on right now. The Lux Line's golden spin to win holiday special. special. $50 per spin. Regular price at the end of the month, we're running a special the whole month, is going to 75 bucks. What do you do? It's simple. You purchase a spin, you go to Xmart, you spin the wheel. There's 550 items in the wheel. 50 of those items are this lovely golden ticket. If you get the golden ticket, you get entered into a grand prize wheel, folks. Every prize in the grand prize wheel is a massive, massive winner. Every single one, not only do you get a Lux Lion NFT, but you can have your chance of winning a Meta Yacht, a custom Meta Home from the Street of Dreams. Let me show you some custom Meta Homes right here. There you go. Here's one of them. Not only do you get this house, this beautiful modern house to put on your property, the car comes with it. Look at this modern house. It has a rooftop pool. You get this in the Metaverse with this car. Folks, here are all the items in the Tier 2. 
The list goes on and on what you could win. Anywhere from a flying lion to a meta black sports car to 1500 dub tokens and a meta wrap you can use within the metaverse. You are not going to want to miss out. And it's very simple. Head to the website, luxlinesnft.com. Purchase land. Go to collections. And I'm going to link this directly below. You're going to come down here and hit page two. What are you going to see on here? The Lux Lions spin, folks. It is that simple. Head over to this page. Click on the spin. It is connects directly to your sum wallet. You can pay in XRP. 534 left. It's actually even lower than that because this is not account for. We have a PayPal form as well. Get to the Discord. DM me if you want to be invoiced via PayPal. It's going down. Let's get to this. Who remembers when Val Hill Capital put out and talked about the proposed buyback? Jimmy Ballet put his target out there. Can we play this clip? Let's see if the clip's going to play for us this time. We had a little audio issues this morning. Let's see. Listen up. Listen, his first target, 35,000 USD per XRP. His new price target was raised up to 50K. Well, Black Swan Capitalists have now partnered with Val Hill Capital on the XRP buyback proposal. Folks, it sounds crazy. It sounds insane. I get it. But remember, at one time, Bitcoin was selling for a dollar and it ran all the way up to 60, was it 67,000? No one thought that was plausible. No one thought that that was possible. Why couldn't that be possible with XRP? I want you to think about that. And I want you to answer that question. Anything is possible. This is crypto. Anything goes. We got a Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit hanging above our heads. We got a bunch of central banks around the world that are going to be using XRP to transmit money. We know it works. We know the software that Ripple is providing to these banks all across the globe. Do not think that this is not possible. Brad Gallinghouse put this out. I learned a few a few new fun facts about Stuart, Arad, Stuart Alderado here myself. He's talking about this BloombergLaw.com article that came out. There was a clip. Stuart Arati chimed in Gary Gensler. He says the only runway that's running out is their worn out and frankly false talking points from the SEC chairman Gary Gensler. His, he insists on elevating the SEC's quest for power over effective regulations and his counting in, 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 excuse me, quest for power over effective regulations in this country is creating deep financial damage what did jimmy valley just talk about so here's the article if you didn't read it give this a read it's over on bloomberg law ripple spent over 100 million on law firms we heard roger burstein it wasn't worth it well roger my friend it was worth it It was worth every penny because this isn't just about ripple this isn't just about xrp but within here steward alderati talks about the courts and different courts right he says here let me see if i can pull it up I know it's in here, right down here. Listen to this and tell me what you think this means. Despite industry hopes for a, for a decision that finally ends the uncertainty, the eventual court ruling in a Ripple SEC case could add more ambiguity to an already confused and ambitious space, said Dewal, citing the conflicting ways regulators have approached crypto. Nagy noted that while a win for the SEC would be harboring a more regulatory action, Ripple appears to be playing the long game. Folks, two years, I'll call that the long game, wouldn't you? And it is likely to fight the case through the appellate courts if needed. 
Ripple is working with legislators and regulators around the world to identify areas of common interest. Alderati said he also pledged that the company would remain aggressive in the SEC litigation. Ripple recently prevailed in a months-long discovery fight over internal SEC communications related to a June 2018 speech by William Henman, the SEC's former head of corporate finance. Folks, we got those emails. The SEC doesn't want them out. Ripple is now coming out with this piece in Bloomberg Law. When Ripple is doing these pieces and they're getting involved and they're talking and Alderati's out there talking... It's saying to me that this case is over, that there is a lot more that is going on behind the scenes that we know. Think about that for a second. They are concentrating on this piece instead of the lawsuit. I'm telling you, I firmly believe the lawsuit is coming to an end. And then we get over to this. Stuart Alderati says, as we hit the beginning of the end, let me say that again. As we hit the beginning of the end with the SEC lawsuit, I couldn't have... <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better team to be part of. Thankful every day for my equal intimate. Thank, th thank you for my intimate. For my, I can't talk. For my equal little colleagues is what he's saying here. Why is he putting this out? Why is he saying he's thankful for all of them? Why is he saying the beginning of the end? It sounds like he that the lawsuit has been wrapped up and they are wrapping up and, and signing the papers to finalize it if it already hasn't been wrapped up and he is just thanking everyone out there. And then to top this all off, Ralph Vandermeer, listen, you like his tweets, you don't like his tweets, you you know, you're you're all about what people like this are saying. This is a very interesting comment. Ripple wins against the SEC. XRP is not a security. That is a given. You will see this in the news soon, but everyone in financial circles have already received the memo. Watch the volumes closely folks i am on board i am on page i'm telling you i think it's over i think the brighter dates are going to be ahead of us very very soon pay attention to the volumes out there don't ever think thirty five thousand or fifty thousand dollar xrps out of the picture they thought that with bitcoin look what bitcoin did the same thing can happen with xrp especially when we get true utility and true volume coming to the ledger and actual xrp being used across the globe i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna get to bed i'm gonna try to get better wash your damn hands be nice and be kind to of each other Ripple Van Winkle is out